Okay, so next is two instants, and I've got a Nexus 3 instance as well. Just here, if I sign in, um, as you can see, this is a, a default installation. So I've got the admin password here, and I'll just pop it in there. Go through the wizard. Nice and secure, admin123. Enable anonymous access, that's fine. And now I'm going to go into the admin. You'll see this is a, a totally clean um, Nexus 3 installation, just the default repositories, uh, just a single blob. Default uh, privileges with no real users, just the admin and anonymous. And then I'm going to go into system and add my pro license. You can see I'm on OSS at the moment. Okay, so now we're on the pro license. I'm going to go over to capabilities, create capability, upgrade. Now I can go and it's enabled. I have the upgrade option. So you can have a quick read, you pause the video if you like. base URL and this access token is going to be from Nexus 2 so if I go to capabilities here's the upgrade agent and you'll see we've got the different tabs Here's the access token. So now I'm going to do both. I only have the default blob store. I have three options hard linking, which is the fastest. Um, just changing basically the uh, the inodes um, or the indexes on the on the disk to point to Nexus three. This is a file system copy um, which Nexus would need access to um, to Nexus two to be able to copy the the files over and then download where it's using HTTP. I'll select all the capable repositories. And now it's initializing. So I begin the upgrade. So that's the preparation step. So you can see the status of these. And this is going to take a little while because it's having to copy all the data, right? So at this point, when we click continue and yes, this will stop syncing repo three with repo two. Before clicking this, Nexus will keep on scanning for changes and any updates to Nexus two will be replicated in Nexus three. So at this point, when we click yes, the migration has finished. What we should then do 
is make sure that we're pointing our networking traffic um, to Nexus 3 so that nothing is written to Nexus 2 any, any longer. Now we're just finishing off the installation on Nexus 3 on the upgrade. This will not take very long. And you can see the context path um, in Nexus 3 is different to Nexus 2. The migration wizard will actually create um, the context path capability so that Nexus 2 URLs are supported. And you can see here that some tasks are um, building in the background and you should monitor the status of some of these tasks um, in the logs or check the Nexus 2 migration um, task has completed. So here you can see the task that's enabled um, to allow for Nexus 2 context paths to be supported. And the migration wizard will actually create this. And we're done.